all right guys so i'm out here again i'm at 72nd place in long beach california uh i've only fished this area one other time and i hooked up to a nice fish and lost it and i was pushed for time so i never got to continue fishing so i figured i'd come give it a try again it's kind of windy right now looks like i gotta climb over these little sand dunes to get down to the beach area i don't know if it's low tide or high tide right now oh wow the water looks really choppy um we're still gonna give it a try and see what happens guys so stay tuned If I had to guess, it looked like the tide is coming in right now. First cast. This is not the desired conditions, but you gotta be willing to fish in any condition sometimes you never know what conditions may produce a fish these waves are pretty uh pretty choppy they're hitting kind of hard good thing it's not leg day <laughs> or i'll probably be in trouble there's a lot of kelp floating around the surface It's not cool hooking up to that. Sometimes it'll have you thinking you got a fish. <laughs> it's not easy casting against the wind. It takes away from you casting out as far. Oh, that was a bite, missed him. Look at that. Caught the end of it. Bit it in half. <laughs> Usually when uh when that happens, for me it's been yellow fan croaker that does that. They'll catch the end of the goat instead of the whole bait. We'll see if I can get them once I re bait it. Who did that fish think he was? Taking half of my bait. What do you think he can get a free meal around here? Or what does she think she can get a free meal around here? I don't think so. Let's see him try to take this one. I'm gonna snag their lips off. <laughs> Hook up. Smell. Man, that yellow fin croaker and that smell told that go buck. I never had yellow fin croaker. I'm not even sure what they taste like. I know there's a lot of people who keep them and a lot of people who like them, but. I don't know what they taste like. 
Maybe if I get another one, I'll keep it and do a taste test. Dang, he took my bait off. Yep, that's those yellowfin croaker for sure. They're the only ones that do that. Or they'll bite it in half. How you doing? All right. Beautiful day, fresh air, right? Can't complain. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get them. We can't have them thinking they can take my bait and get away with it. What do they think this is? A free meal giveaway? We're gonna turn them into a meal. <laughs> More like a taste test. Come on, yellow fan croaker, bite it again. Not what I was expecting. Like a big old smelt. Yellowfin croaker, I'm sure, how it's fighting. That's actually a nice one. And we're gonna keep this one, guys, and do a little uh, taste test on these things. Like I said, I've never had one before. So uh, we'll see how it tastes. All right, guys, so here's that yellowfin croaker that I caught. I actually caught a couple of them, but the other one fell off the hook and got away. This one wasn't as lucky. You know, uh, these things don't have no size limit on them. You can keep up to 10. I know a lot of people like to keep them and eat them. Like I said, I've never had them before. So we're going to do a taste test with this. And I'll be honest about how it tastes. All right, guys, see you guys back at the kitchen. All right, guys, we're back at the house. Here's that yellow fan croaker that I caught. Gonna go ahead and clean it up real fast. Fry it up and see what it tastes like. filet meat kind of looks like scopian a rockfish I'm assuming that's probably what it's gonna taste like Second fillet. Trash that. All right, there's one piece. We'll rinse that off in a second.
All right, we'll give these a quick rinse and then we're good to go. All right, guys, I got these padded dry. We're just gonna season them with some garlic salt and a little lemon pepper. I'm just gonna put a little olive oil in a pan. Let's go ahead and season these really fast. I know it kind of takes away from the, the natural taste by me putting so much seasoning, but if I was to eat any other fish, it'd be seasoned the same way. So I'm gonna still put seasoning on these. And if it tastes good with the seasoning, then I know it's a good fish. Let's go ahead and heat up this pan. We're gonna go ahead and add in a little olive oil, just a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and add in our fish. Shouldn't take that long to cook. Let it cook on both sides and we'll give it a taste. I flipped it over to cook on the other side. Just a little bit longer and that looks about done to me. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste. Let's see here. Oh, hot. Oh, wow. That's actually not bad at all. Oh, still hot. Oh, yeah. Like I said, that's not bad at all. Tastes like scoping or any other type of rockfish or whitefish. Mm -hmm. Now that I know, I can start keeping more of these. These actually might be good for fish tacos too. All done. That was a nice little snack. As always, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, guys, stay tuned.